Welcome to What's Cooking Chicopee. Today we're here at Renee B's at 400B East Main Street, where you can get soup and sandwiches with a warm local neighborhood feel. Let's go inside and see what she has in store for us. I'm here with Brene, the owner of Brene B's Soup Sandwich and Ice Cream Shop. Would you do us the pleasure of describing your journey as to how this establishment began? Probably about five years ago in May, um, I, did, I was laid off from my job and I couldn't find a job and I've always wanted to open an ice cream shop. So I um, started looking and I found this place and I came in. When I walked in here, there was a car in here. It was a garage. So this was a total like makeover. I was able to come in and, you know, put my or my vision, I guess you would say. So a, a nice hometown feeling. I wanted people to come up in here and be able to afford to go out to eat. What would you say is your biggest pleasure with regard to the business? I love the people. The people that come in, I get all walks of life in here. Uh, <clears throat> young, old, and they come in and I'm making a lot of friends this way, uh, lifelong friends, and um, this is why I do it, you know, um, and they keep coming back. I specialize in my soups. Cheeseburg chowder is always on the menu. Um, I do run out all the time, and then the other four to five soups um, I change weekly. I post it on Facebook, so if you like my page on Facebook, um, you get an update every Monday of what's to come for the week. I do basic deli sandwiches, so I make the chick rotisserie chicken salad. It's a big hit. The egg salad, I make tuna fish salad. I have flatbread, so um, I have Southwest turkey flatbreads. I have buffalo chicken. And then I also do um, grilled cheese. I do everything from a, a standard American cheese, cheddar cheese, to uh, a pickleback, where it's pickles, bacons, and cheddar cheese in it. Sounds delicious. I also noticed on my way in here a, a new smoker. Yes. So tell us more. That we are just starting actually tomorrow will be the first time it's been offered. Um, I just bought the smoker and I was approved. And um, so we're expanding. So I'll start off with a pulled pork sandwich, uh, maybe pulled chicken sandwich, and then move on to brisket and then bring that in. So how was it that you decided to um, have this wonderful home feeling in Chicopee? Um, well, I grew up in Chicopee, and uh, so it was a no-brainer to me. This way, I don't have a long commute or anything. Um, and then when I found the spot, I said it was perfect. So staff, do you have staff? Um, I do most of it by myself. Um, I do have uh, a couple of people that come in and volunteer and help me sometimes when I get a little overwhelmed. Um, and, uh, but most of the time it's me. And it, especially if you have, you've never done this before, it's, it, it does become overwhelming, you know, and then, but then you just take a deep breath and move to the next step to, to get to the point where you can open. I had to get to the point where I encouraged my customers to call in on the phone. So this way, when they came here, the order was picked up. Sometimes I have customers I, I encourage, especially like uh, construction workers, they get exactly 20 minutes to a half an hour to eat lunch. So I says, if you call in, you walk through the door, I will have your lunch on the table. So basically, if I'm understanding you, it's like you opening your kitchen to the entire city and beyond just for things that you would make at your house. Yes. So I make all my sides here. I make all my own coleslaw, the potato salad, macaroni salad, the baked beans. It's all made here. The sauces for the ice cream. Anything I can make here, I do. 